Rachel Yucatel became a tabloid sensation a year ago as a result of her involvement with Tiger Woods. In her own words, she became famous for being infamous. Now her focus has turned to her addictions, which are chronicled in the VH1 series Dr. Drew's Celebrity Rehab. The show's fourth series premieres tomorrow night. Rachel Yucatel joins us this morning in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. And a lot of people know who you are because of Tiger Woods. And as I understand it, you're unable to discuss that because of a confidential agreement, confidentiality agreement, rather, that you signed. But you have said there was this public perception because of that that you were a villain, it, that it forced you into seclusion. Why then put yourself out there again? Why come forward again and, and be in the spotlight? Well, you know, I decided that I was not okay with the media creating this cartoon character of who I was. And I had been offered Celebrity Apprentice, and and then I was offered Celebrity Rehab. And at first there was no way that I wanted to do Celebrity Rehab. I didn't consider myself an addict. Mm -hmm. I didn't consider myself an actress. I didn't consider myself a celebrity. And I just had no interest in doing a show like that and then after doing a lot of soul searching I knew that I needed help I didn't know what I needed help for but I knew that uh, Dr. Drew could help me and I figured the only way to have people be able to look into who I was and hear things from me was by doing the show and if people want to judge me based on who I am when I have put myself out there then I'm totally okay with that but I wasn't okay with you know the media creating somebody for everybody to dislike so is this it can be an overused term but it's probably appropriate in this case is this giving you some sort of closure then um, I don't know if I would call it closure, but I mean it absolutely um, gives me the opportunity to show people who I really am. You said you didn't realize you had addictions. Mm -hmm. um, you were you're treated on the show for um, their addictions to prescription drugs mm -hmm. and, and a love addiction, which you were dismissive of yourself at first. And a lot of people look at that and they look at things like sex addiction. And they say, right. come on, really, what kind of addiction is that? So what is a love addiction for you? Right. Well, I was totally against it at first. I was like, love addiction, what is that? That sounds ridiculous. Um, but, you know, I always considered addiction something with a substance, mm -hmm. cocaine, meth, heroin. Um, and, you know, I finally came to terms when I was spending time on in rehab and with Dr. Drew um, to understand that I had a problem. I realized what that label was and that there was a solution to it. And I realized that that is called love addiction. And what that means for me is I mistake intensity for intimacy and I miss all the red flags um, that people have and I sort of put a bag on somebody's head and, and create them into this knight in shining arm armor that's going to save me uh, from this hole in my heart that really I came to learn was created after the loss of my fiance in the World Trade Center um, on top of the fact that you know I had lost my father years before so mm -hmm. losing two primary male figures in my life really affected me. So how have things changed now for you? I'm a complete different person from when I went into rehab. I, I want to emphasize that this was by no means a reality show. It was rehab. There was nothing that was staged. It was really difficult to be there. Uh, and, and you I, were there for how long? I was there for 17 days 17. and afterwards I went into a sober living um, environment where again I wasn't addicted to alcohol or anything like mm -hmm. that but I wanted to be involved in a place where people were really open and understanding of what was going on. How are you completely, you say you're completely different though, mm -hmm. but if you're looking at it from the outside, you say, you hear, okay, you were there for 17 days. Mm -hmm. You say it's totally real, but it's being filmed for TV. You go into a sober house. How, how specifically have you changed things? And how, I mean, it, does your entire thought process change now when you meet someone? Absolutely. I have been given the opportunity now to look inside and take a deeper look at what's going on with me and why I do things, why I make decisions, why I surround myself with certain people. And uh, I've completely changed that. So I'm very, I'm very aware of everything that I'm doing. And, and I've really changed what makes me happy and how I find happiness. So what do you do now? What's next? Well, I am in constant recovery still. I mean, I still see Dr. Drew and Bob Forrest, who was uh, on the show as well, um, completely separate from, you know, VH1 or part of the show. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still see them on a weekly basis, and I'm, I'm in continual um, therapy. Can and you date while you're doing something like that? You, yeah, I can date. It's It's been, you know, I'm really trying to focus on um, normalcy in my life, you know, so I'm trying to figure out what, uh, what I can do to motivate, motivate me to get out of bed and be happy every day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yes, I'm dating, um, but it's, you know, on a much different level than it was before. Thanks for being with us this morning. Sure. We appreciate it.